Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, there's trouble on the Ghost Rider team. Mr. Fernandez hit Max's van and destroyed his musical instruments. Mr. Fernandez says it was an accident, but Max thinks Mr. Fernandez hit his stuff on purpose. So, now the kids on the team are fighting, and that makes Calvin Ferguson real happy. He's trying to split up the team and find out who Ghost Rider is. Now, here's some new facts from the last show. First, the fighting is getting worse because now Max is suing Mr. Fernandez for $10,000. So, Jamal's trying to figure out who ran in front of Mr. Fernandez's truck. I'm pretty sure he had red hair. If we can find this guy, we can prove that you were not driving recklessly. And Gabby and Jamal watched Tina's video and saw two men running down the street when the accident happened. One was carrying a picture with words on it, and the other had something written on his t-shirt. That's from an advertisement for laundry detergent. That's the might of my tea clean. And Ghost Rider read the other guy's t-shirt. Up against the wall art gallery. Jamal checked out the art gallery where he read about an old advertisement by Jarvis O'Connor that said, Mighty Bright, Mighty Clean. And he learned that someone had just stolen that very painting. Can you tell me what the thief looked like? What color was his hair? Red. The guy who stole the painting was chased by the gallery's security guard, who said he heard a car crash. Joe knows crashing. Jamal's really onto something. And Lieutenant McQuaid told Jamal that three more Jarvis O'Connor paintings have been stolen in the neighborhood. When the team hears this, they're going to jump all over this case. Fight or no fight. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because Jamal's calling a rally. Strider. Why couldn't you send a message? Man, what's wrong with him? I can feel how much we've fallen apart. Wait a minute, Ghost Rider, don't go! This can't be happening. Hello? Oh, yes. When? And there was nothing you could do? Okay. Thank you very much. Mm hmm Yeah. Bye-bye. Papa, what happened? They've set the date for the trial. Max is taking me to court three weeks from today. I can't believe Lenny's father's going through with this. You guys, major emergency. I just tried to call a rally, and Ghost Rider couldn't send a message. What do you mean? He says we're all disconnected. We must be the link that keeps him alive. If we break up now, Ghost Rider might disappear forever. Oh, no. I never wanted that to happen. Me neither. We don't want Ghost Rider to disappear. What can we do? Stop the fights. Make up with Lenny and Tina. What? Ghost Rider's really important to us. But the court date's only three weeks away. We have to be loyal to our family. And you know Lenny's gonna take Max's side. Listen, this fight is between your fathers, not you. Now, talk to Lenny and Tina, for Ghost Rider's sake. We'll think about it. Well, you better think fast. Maybe too late already. Dear Rob, I'm very sorry the team is split up, but don't worry. You can always count on me to give you help and advice. I'll write again soon, your friend Ghost Rider. Thanks, Ghost Rider. Could use a friend right about. Hey, wait a minute.
you're looking at. That's the day Lana Barnes got her award for being the first female movie action hero. Don't we all look great? Hmm. Lana wouldn't have gotten that award if we hadn't saved her from that crazy stunt double lady. Yeah. And we couldn't have helped Lana without Ghost Rider and the team. I know. Hey, what's that? More pen pal letters? Nope. I don't know where they're from. There's no return address. Hey, mine's from Tina. She wants to talk things out at 5.30. She says I should meet her in the park by the big rock. Mine's from Lenny. She wants me to meet her at 5.30, near the swing. What do you think? Should we go? Well, it might bring Ghost Rider back. And I really miss everybody, Alex. It wouldn't really be going against Papa if we just listened to what they have to say. I'll get it. Who is it? It's funny. It's from Alex. He wants to meet me near the bench in the park to talk things out. Well, that's great. That's not great? Don't you want to see him? You guys aren't still mad at each other, are you? Of course I'm still mad. He called me a dog and he kicked me out of his father's store. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean it. I think he's taking things out on you because of what's going on between me and his dad. I don't care what the reason is. I'm never going to forgive him. And if he's standing up for his father, I'm standing up for mine. But I don't want you to. Hmm? I appreciate your support, but I don't want my problems to keep you away from your friends. Go talk to Alex. See what he has to say. Keep an open mind. I will if you will. Hmm? Well, maybe you should try and keep an open mind about Mr. Fernandez. Jamal thinks he might have a lead on the guy who ran in front of the truck. You mean there really was a guy? Well, there's no solid proof yet, but he's getting closer. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. It's almost 5.30. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Dear Tina, I'm very sorry about what's happened. Let's talk. Meet me at the monument in the park at 5.30. Gabby. Okay, Gabby. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Man, this is even worse than I thought. What do you mean? The real Ghost Rider stopped talking to us. I've been trying to get in touch with him, but he won't or can't answer. Oh, this is really bad. But let's not panic. There might still be a way to bring Ghost Rider back. How? We've tried talking to everyone. We've tried getting them to talk to each other. Man, no one's listening. They're not listening, but maybe they'll read. So? We'll write them a note. Even if they're angry, they might read it later, when they calm down. It's worth a try. Can I? Sure. What do we want to say? I think we want to scare them. Tell them if they don't start pulling together as a team, they'll never see Ghost Rider again. Yeah, but the purpose of the letter is to help them remember how important our friendship is so we can be a team again. You're right, but how do we say that? Hmm. Dear team, I can't forget how much the team means to all of us. That pretty much says it all. But maybe it'll work better if we give them some examples. Like, how have we helped each other? Wow. There have been so many times. Like the time you guys saved me when I was trapped in the subway tunnel with Lisa. If 
you guys hadn't found us, we might have starved to death down there. That's a good thing to put in our letter. time when Gabby got really sick and no one knew what was wrong with her until the team figured out there are poison barrels buried in our community garden and we figured out who did it. What are you doing with the camera? Watch out here, Mr. Miller! when we won the Hoodman comic book contest. Yeah, we always have fun when we're together. We should put that in the letter too. I've got a way to end it. team, we can't forget how much the team means to all of us. You rescued me, Rob, when I was trapped in the tunnel. We saved Gabby and lots of other people from poison in the garden. And we always have fun together. Remember Lenny the Wise and her friends of five? It's so hard to find people you can count on. Please don't let that go. This is really good. I just hope everyone else thinks so. Yeah. be a good sign. If Ghost Rider came back, maybe the team will come back together too. We better deliver this fast. Hey, Mr. Fernandez, are Alex and Gabby here? No, uh, I think they said they were going to the park. Thanks. See you later. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hang on a minute, this could be important. Hi. Can I help you? Maybe. Actually, I've been thinking we could help each other. This thing has gotten way out of control. Lawyers, court dates, subpoenas. I never meant this to happen. You're my neighbor. You've taken care of my kid. So I've been thinking there must be some other way to work this out. No. I'm listening. Well, look, neither one of us is exactly loaded with cash. And lawyers are so expensive. Wait a minute. Does this mean that you're going to drop the lawsuit? I'm saying that it would be cheaper 
if you could find a way to pay me the $5,000 that the insurance company doesn't cover, that way neither one of us has to pay a lawyer. And this is your way of working it out? Well, you wouldn't have to pay me all at once. How about half now, half uh, in a month? I don't have $5,000 with or without lawyers. So you get out of my store before I have you arrested for trespassing. Okay, fine. I'll see you in court. Is that what you want? Yeah. Is that what you want? I hate okay, fine. Moment. You got what you I want. I can't wait. Fine. Can't wait. To play, don't wait all my life to, to be in court with someone like you. And what are you still doing here? Go to the park. Go to the park. Excuse for music. Guys, Don't you know I can't. It's just a whole here in black and white, just like the do. newspaper article. Now shut up! Guys are about to lose the best thing that ever happened to you, and you're too selfish to even realize it. What's he talking about? I'm talking about the Ghost Rider team. It's too bad we're not even friends anymore. If we don't stop fighting, and I mean now, Ghost Rider's gonna just fade right out of existence. I was perfectly willing to make up with Alex until I found this. Ha, ha, ha. Don't listen to her. She's the one who gave me this note. Ha, ha, ha. I got one, too. So did I. This is more than just a coincidence. It's a dirty trick. But if none of us wrote these, then who did? Probably the same person who wrote this. It's a fake ghostwriter note. I found it in my locker. Somebody's trying to break us up. Well, it didn't have to try too hard. We left ourselves wide open. It's not my oh, fault. What are you looking at? I was just thick enough for my father. Guys, we don't have time for this. Yeah, we want you to read this. It's a note from us and Ghost Rider. Many the wise and friends of five. Caught you, Mr. Miller. When you were sick, I was really worried about you. We've done so much together. How could we forget it all so fast? Yeah, well, I guess I sort of... I'm sorry. Me too. I shouldn't have... I never meant to. I mean, you're still my best friend. And you're still mine. Friends? You got it. <laughs> we did it. To no words. But we're not there yet. We have to bring Ghost Rider back. Oh, yeah. How are we going to do that? Wait a minute. I have an idea. Remember, Lenny, when we first met Ghost Rider? He almost disappeared then, too. Yeah, because he felt sad and lonely. But then we brought him back by writing to him. And by telling him that he wasn't alone. So what are we waiting for? Let's tell him. I don't think that's enough anymore. We should promise him that we'll never fight again. I don't think that's it either. There are always going to be things that we disagree about. So what do we do? What if we show them that we're together again? I hope this works.
guess that's not enough. Maybe we need to show Ghost Rider that we understand what we did wrong. I think this has got to be a message from all of us. Okay, come on. Think, think. What is it that we need to say? Wow, there's so much. I shouldn't have just automatically blamed your father. He's always looking after me when my father's not home. And I shouldn't have just blamed you guys because he's your dad. You want me to type all that? Maybe there's a shorter way to say it. What's the most important thing? How about... I should have listened to the other side of the story. That sounds good. No Ghost Rider yet. I've got something. Tell him how sorry I am I said all those nasty things. And Lenny... I guess I was so angry. I just had to take it out on somebody. So what's the most important thing you want to say? I'm not sure. Well, it's kind of like you didn't mean it, isn't it? Yeah. I was so angry, I said things I didn't mean. Got it. Guys, we need more. What else can we say? Well, I was only thinking about how upset I was. You're my best friend. I should have realized how scared you were about what was happening to your father. So what should I write? I should have thought more about Gabby's feelings. Understanding? Friendship? Say, I had the words, but I was afraid to use them. Yeah. Come on, Ghost Rider, it's about what? Hey, I know what it's about. Let me. Time you and I talked about the future. Meet me in the computer room after school, your friend Ghost Rider. Well, at least we don't have to figure out who the fake Ghost Rider is. He's falling right into our laps. I think I already know who he is. Who? Calvin Ferguson. Calvin? He's made so much trouble for us already. And the other day, he started asking me these weird questions. Like, did I have an imaginary friend or one that I couldn't see? Uh oh. Calvin asked me the exact same questions. But how do you figure out who Ghost Rider is? I think I know. And I think it's partly my fault. The other day, I was in the computer room, and Ghost Rider started talking to me. I'm not myself today. But he didn't look like he usually does. I suddenly heard a sound, and when I turned around, I saw Calvin Ferguson getting up to leave. 
I didn't realize it then, but now I'm sure it was Calvin Ferguson writing to me, not Ghost Rider. What if it is Calvin? What do we do? I have a plan. We alone? Well, as you can see, I'm not Ghost Rider. Who? Don't play stupid with me. You know who Ghost Rider is, and so do I.